Hello, my lovelies. It is that time of the month again. Repair no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Never mind. Um, it is the boxy charm time of the month, and that means uh, fun goodies. I am sorry I haven't been doing more videos. It's the middle of bridal season, and I'm up to my eyeballs in weddings, and that has me really busy. This weekend, we are having fun uh, doing Sinister Creature Con, so we've got a ton going on. Um, but I still like to upload something, so that's why I am... Um, trying to at least do these videos so without further ado and no more rants for me today because you know i usually go into them i am doing the boxy charms and swinging the knife around because all right so da, 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 boxy charm all right so boxy charm go all out September 13th is the add-on date for those of you who are interested in uh, spending your paycheck on add-ons. Alright, so it looks like we got an eyeshadow palette by Laura Geller that retails at $45. We have a lash set by Lava Beauty. Um, they're 3D mink lashes for a retail of $54. We have a Hydrating Facial Toner by First Aid Beauty for retailing for 22 We have a Hyaluronic Acid Facial Serum because I'm old and I love that skin stuff um, by Clara's New York that retails for $24.99. I like how they're all $99 on this. They don't say $25, just no, $24.99. And then we have an all night bender, have no ideas. It looks like mascara by Rockin's Cosmetics for $29. So nice uh, price point on this um, one. So let's see. Here's our Laura Geller little palette. Cute little box. Gotta love the. Uh, I love the artwork on makeup palettes. I really do. It adds to the whole experience. Oh, you open it up. It's nice. This is the casual collection. It's a multi-finish eyeshadow palette. And color-wise, just basic natural colors. Some nice neutral, whoo, neutral tones. Got some mauve. And we've got some taupe. And some shimmers and some mattes. It's very nice. It's lovely. You can do a very nice natural soft eye with that. So that's very pretty. This will make a nice present for someone. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. You may demo it. You may just give it away. I don't know. We'll see. I got a whole stack of stuff that I'm supposed to be demoing. Like a whole, 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 whole stack that I have not gotten time to get around to. All right, we have our Advanced Serum Vitamin E Hyaluronic Acid 100 Natural 97%. So 3% will kill you and 97% is natural. Actually, natural shit can kill you too. I mean, rattlesnakes are 100% natural and they can kill you. So it's a natural fermented long-lasting hydration by Claire's New York. It's got adaptogens, vitamin E. Can I use it? Can I use it? It looks like I can use it. And there's no horse piss in it. This is lovely. All right. This is something I get to use. It's made in the U.S. It looks like it's cruelty free. Um, Cool. I am looking forward to trying this out. I need hydration. So that one's mine. And that one's going home with me. All right. Next, we have Lava Los Angeles. It is their lash set. You get a lovely pair of uh, applicators, lashes, and um, adhesive. It's a latex-free clear adhesive. Um, you do get mink lashes, which 
I'm not a huge fan of mean flashes because, you know, they're killing. How can it be cruelty free when it's mink? Do they shave the minks? As far as I know, shaving the mink would damage the mink, but how did they get the mink care? Does the mink grow back? I need to research mink flashes because this one says it's cruelty free and this raises lots of questions. So let's see what Google says about mink flashes. Are mink flashes cruelty free? Because, you know, how do you get the hair? Here we go. Are mean glasses, they're definitely not vegan. Google popped up with, are mean glasses vegan? Um, 100% cruelty free or safe collection and even taken from other minks. In fact, think much, oh, whoa. The cruelty behind mink lashes. This is by PETA. So, they're shaved off the body. Uh, either right before or directly after the animal is killed on a fur farm. And then glued the strands to human eyelashes for a thicker, fuller look. And honestly, these are no thicker than what I could buy as silk or uh, human hair lashes. So, I'm not seeing the whole thing. I told you guys no uh, rant. I'm sorry, you're getting a rant. Um... So, they are confined to tiny, small, depressing little cages, cramped bar cages, very unsanitary. The ones on top piss onto the ones below them. It's a terrible thing. And they're farmed and fur-bearing, um, and they're bred and slaughtered on fur farms around the world. And even if they aren't killing them, they are living a very cruel, cruel life. So... Please don't support mink lashes. Um, I'm not happy they sent me mink lashes. That is not something that I requested. And if you know BoxyCharm, you just put in. I do prefer cruelty-free items. And they say these are cruelty-free, but that's because they're not murdering the animals. That doesn't mean that it isn't actually cruelty-free. They are not PETA certified, and they're not cruelty-free certified. So these animals are living in bad situations. So if you care about little animals, please stop buying mink lashes. You can find beautiful human hair lashes where they do not put the humans in cages that they pee on the people below them or kill them to shave their heads. These are living humans that actually make money on selling their hair. So... But that's also a whole industry that has a whole... Anyways, there's lots of rants involved in the beauty industry. But please reconsider buying um, mink lashes in general. And so I am not really a fan of lava. Um, I'm not a fan of cruel, uh, mink lashes at all. So, uh, in the rant, in the rant, uh, I will put a link down below on the article from PETA about mean glasses if you want to go further but i'm done with the rant i promise all right last but not least oh this is definitely not last and not least um we have the ultra power ultra repair sorry braces ultra repair wild oat hydrating toner um this one is for soothing and nourishing it's alcohol free and it's safe for sensitive skin i will be the judge of that um Especially since their skin comes in many areas and mine's fine. Um, okay. Uh, oh, it's got colloidal oatmeal, which is very gentle, and honey. I really like that. Um, it does have fever a few, but that should be fine for most people. Um, And even for me, I can use this. But for most people, this really is sensitive skin. Um, it uses a lot of things that would be very gentle and soothing to the skin. So that's very nice. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Lovely. All right. Now we have our last but not least. It is Extreme Black Extreme Lash Glue All Night Bender by Rockins Cosmetics. And... I'm excited to try this one. I usually steal all the mascara for myself. I haven't had to buy the mascara in a while. Um, I do steal it for myself because 
For one, I love mascara. It's one of the only items I use. So that is the wand. So these are not going to be volumizing lashes, but they're going to be like that long, which is my preferred. I like that more long kind of like lengthening. Um, so this is going to be great. So, there you guys have it. This month's Boxy Charms. Let me know what you got in yours. Uh, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. And I will see you guys later and hopefully be able to upload some more stuff. I will talk to you soon.